Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad Designer Showcase. So let's get cracking. Friends, before we start, I am on my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing items. One of the coolest things I'm going to highlight today is the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, when you click that link, it will take you to the community. We are currently at 99 members, which is fantastic. I'd love to see it hit 100. If you're ever trying to share this with somebody, you can, of course, use that link at the top of my website, or you can also share it as bit.ly slash tinkercord. Either way, it's an awesome community where you can reach out, share designs, get tips, and become a better designer in Tinkercad. Friends, today's design comes from Count Viscount Springtrap, who from here on out, I'm going to call Springtrap because it's a lot easier to say. So this is the RMS Titanic by Springtrap. Oh my gosh, such a an amazing creation and he's added notes so we can walk through all the features so let's start down here this model was made to be as accurate and smooth as possible and has a lot of pieces that may have trouble loading i did pause and let it load because it does take a moment please enjoy this model of the rms titanic knowing i have given my best effort in making sure accuracy was achieved the seal of authenticity is located on the bottom how cool is that and all but two parts were made by me credit to unlimited model works for the anchors found in the bow let's move up to the bow and check those out so this note notes that both of these anchors were created by unlimited model works the extra anchor up here in front was actually made by springtrap here we have the anchor crane which pulls them out and then also right here we've got the anchor pulley system this is the number one cargo hatch and then right here we have the sea deck deck hatches above them you will find the crow's nest where the lookouts are stationed and we all know that did not go as well as it was supposed to and these are the electric cargo cranes each separate parts there are eight of these on the ship let's spin around and take a look at these from this side non-collapsible lifeboats this is the bridge control room where some crew and captain are stationed these are spare collapsible lifeboats two are on top and the other two are on top of the non-collapsible lifeboats closest to the front as we slide back this is the covering over the dome above the grand staircase super cool this is funnel one, two, three, and of course, funnel four. With the awesome note that it was really the dummy funnel and functioned as a ventilator. This is the compass platform. Back here, we've got the covering over the dome of the aft towards the back of the grand staircase. As we slide back here, we have got the second class entrance to the boat deck. And up here we have got the flag of the White Star Line. Here we have got more of the deck hatches. And this, friends, is the back docking bridge. That is cool. I never knew one of those existed. Love these benches in the back as well. And then finally, we've got the British Merchant flag from 1912. And it's even a waving flag. Springtrap was able to build this in about five days, which is just totally insane. Right now, as you look at it, it has 228 parts. But if you took it all apart, it is just south of 1,500 total parts. The goal of the project was to have something so realistic that people could actually look at it and learn about the parts of the Titanic. Springtrap, I think you absolutely crushed it and thank you so much for sharing. Friends, remember if you ever make something you're proud of and want to share with me, like my cool F-22, you can check the cards up above if you haven't seen this. Friends, it is so simple. You can click this button, generate a link, copy the link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options aren't available, don't forget you can also visit my website, hlmodtech.com. I have a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. And down at the bottom, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. As an added bonus, though, don't forget you can also reach out using the Tinkercad Community Discord. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks again to Springtrap. Oh my gosh. 
fantastic design and so epic that you chose to share it with us. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.